Hello everyone and welcome back to Winders Model Farms. Today I wanted to do a review over the 2011 Farm Show tractor from John Deere and that is this 8310R. Also today I am using a new phone. I just got a new phone so hopefully the video quality is a little better. My old phone was getting pretty rough. Um, so hopefully this makes the videos a little clearer, a little better, at least why I'm filming from when I previously was. Um, alrighty, so let's take a look at the box. Here's the top of the box there. 2011 Farm Show, one of 5,000, which is pretty standard of John Deere. I think now most of them are 5,500 for John Deere, but um, you can see there, $20. My brothers did pick this up at a farm toy show up in Iowa for me, and I just got it this past week. Um, so pretty excited to take a look at it. There's one side of the box. On this side, there's one on a, looks like a, a ripper. In the back here, on a grain cart there. And nothing much on the bottom. So this tractor is pretty nice. Um, starting off, 2011 Farm Show, one of 5,000. Um, what I like about this is the duels. These are um, what I would call like your second generation of 8Rs. The first ones were a little bit different of a style body. They still had like the 830 uh, series style. An example of that would be right here. Like um, this is a 8320R. Um, the first generation's 8R still had that older um, hood and side there. The whole front end is like the older 830 series. 8030 series so you know, just with the updated cab where these they kept the cab and changed the rest of the tractor so this like I said would it be that second generation and what I like about this toy is the tires um, we have an 8360R which would have been made at the same time period and I hate when they put these tires on the 8Rs um, to me they don't look right um, they're just almost too wide and not any space in between them. So I've never been a fan of those. And then um, we also had a couple that came on a semi-trailer. This one, and it had these big tires with just singles. And then we also had one on skinny tires with singles, which I ended up customizing and putting duels on the rear. And that was an 80. 335R. Um, I think that turned out real well, but this was just singles straight from Ertl. And then another one would be the 8285R, which did come in a set with a, I think, I think it was this. I could be wrong, but I think that came in a set with that at one time. We got that, but um, as I'll show you here in a minute, there is some detail that is shared between these two toys. They are very similar. Um, got your, your decals printed on the hood there, where like your screens and stuff would be. Um, like I said, I love the duels because they're actually spaced correct and they look pretty good on this tractor in my opinion. Um, the exhaust does look like it's uh, a little tilted back, which a lot of them I feel like that we have from then is like that. This one's not, but I know our 8360R is um, just a little bit of a, I guess, a quality issue with some of those. But, you know, pretty typical for your 8000 series stuff. There's nothing really too special about this. The only thing that... Um, really sets it apart from a lot of the other ones. If you look at the floor, your brake pedals and your clutch and everything are painted, as well as the floor mat is painted different from the seats. You can see over here, like the orange right there, and then the black pedals, and then painted 
up there where your control console is. Um, which if you look at your, you know, like 8360 or the 8335 or the 8285, none of that is detailed in there. It's just in there. Um, but this one did get the detailed interior, the one that came on the Ripper, the 8285. Um, it does have that detail, which I always thought was cool. And this farm show has it as well, which just really, in my opinion, sets these apart from the other ones. And I wish they'd do that on more toys. That just looks so cool to me, having that just little, that little detail. About dropped it. Um, other than that, steering wheel from this angle looks okay. From the front, looks a little weird. But it does look all right from this side. And it's got your standard lights, all these 8Rs have other than that like it's pretty a standard 8r um but overall pretty good looking so anyways i've always wanted this um a farmer around here has one and i've always known about it but never really been at the right place at the right time and they were told me they were going to that show and i said if you see that tractor pick it up for me and they did, so now I have one. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll do a little bit of a close-up around this thing for a second. And then we'll catch you on the next one.